I'm going to show you how to do the Union Depository contract in under six minutes. Now, I am talking about just the finale in under six minutes. The whole contract itself probably going to take around 15 minutes, but that's still insane for $300,000. I'll take you through the setups first to show you exactly what you need to do. And we'll go through the finale and I'll leave it completely uncut so you can see the full six minutes. I'm going to be doing this in one take. So if I mess up and I mess up, it is what it is. Leave a like. Let's get on with the video. Right, so the first thing that we want to do is actually get the union depository contract. As you can see, I don't have it. If you want to get it, all you have to do is start up any single one of these. I'm going to start up the data contract. And as soon as you start it up, do not start a mission, but instead go outside of your auto shop. It's also worth mentioning that you have to have done at least one contract before you can do this. And outside and call up the Santa. All you have to do is press cancel contract job. And now when you head back inside, you should have a new contract. Hopefully the union depository one is there. If it's not, then just do that again until you get it. As you can see, it's now there. Perfect. So let's go ahead and start up the union depository contract. And we're going to go for the elevator key first. Doesn't matter which one you do first. I just go from top to bottom. If you have a Mark II, use that. If not, use a Sparrow or even just use your car if you want. But honestly, who doesn't have a Mark II or a Sparrow nowadays? Fly over the location and when you get here you can go and use the bottom floor just go through the normal door i like to go to the roof don't ask me why i've just always done that i don't think it makes much difference if you do go to the roof so it's completely up to you make sure you're all healthed up because there is quite a few enemies in here maybe you used an assault shotgun if you're an experienced player it shouldn't be that difficult then the guy with the key will always be this guy right here there's normally a guy in the closet as well so watch out for him if he's on your minimap he's gonna come out and try and kill you if he's not there you can just get the body you can just get the elevator key from the body and head back down stairs towards the garage now for this part you want to make sure you are snacked up again i like to get a sticky bomb out ready the reason for that is because when we get down here I, what has just happened to me oh my god they just shot my sticky bomb in my hand that is the first time that's ever happened. But yeah, I like to throw a sticky bomb at that. I can't believe that just happened. And yeah, that blows up all the cars on the right. And there's only a few people left to kill. I genuinely, the one time I'm actually recording and this happens. The same car, it's always the same car. It's this black baller ST. And it's just going to ask you to drive it to one of three different locations. Now, it doesn't matter which one you decide to park it in. I always park it opposite the Union Depository because it's more convenient. I'll show you exactly which one that is right now. As you can see, those are the three options right there. I drive past the one on the left, drive past the one on the right and I put it in the one on the top left. This one's the closest to the depository. I'm not quite sure what's happening. I've got a little glitch. It's not letting me park it in the mart location. But because of this, I am going to park it in a different location, but I have no idea why that's happening to me. Once that's done, you'll just have to leave the area. You'll also get $10,000. Now you can either set your spawn location back to the auto shop and, and change the lobby. That's a very quick way to get back. In this case, I drove back because it's not that far away. Okay, so now we're going to be doing the vault code. And this one can be very annoying if you're not quite sure on how to do it perfectly. Again, if you have a Sparrow or Mark II, it's going to be a lot quicker to get to the LSIA. But there's no rush. So take your time. Drive there if you have to. It doesn't matter. Once you get here, there's only going to be two police officers to take out. So make it easy for yourself. Run one of them over. <laughs> easy as that. Quickly get in the helicopter and make sure you start heading towards the city because this is where it's going to tell you to go anyway. So you may as well head towards the city and lose the cops on the way. So it's always going to be in the same location. However, the car might be in a different spot. The car you're looking for is always the same. It's a blue Porsche. 
have to do is press right on your d-pad scan in once you scan you just go follow him do not get detected if you get detected the mission will fail there's two possible routes he can take here in this scenario i'm only going to show you one of them however it's the exact same thing you have to do when you're there anyway so it's not a big deal it is worth noting that if you do press your left analog stick in the helicopter will automatically just hover for you that's if you struggle to control the helicopter sometimes on old gen you'll get a glitch where if you use the camera when you try and come out of the camera it'll automatically put you back in the camera it's super annoying all you have to do is hold the camera button down and then you want to just press your phone once you bring your phone up the glitch will go away super annoying but there you go now he's actually arrived at the location he's going to be standing on one of these balconies and he's always the same person it's an old man looking for a little bit of love there he is so all i want to do now is just hover there you go my helicopter's hovering go into this camera make sure you zoom in all the way because if you don't it can be a little bit glitchy sometimes and now all you want to do is wait for them to hug for him to touch her shoulders or something like that in any way and then take the photo there we go easy as that as you can see i've got the glitch again bit annoying but that's how you get rid of it and as soon as you took the photo and it says wait for Sasanta to contact you you can leave easy and now i would definitely change your spell location to auto shop and head into a new lobby go straight back there so we can go straight to the union depository i'm gonna leave this bit unedited i'm also gonna put a timer on the screen so we can see how long it actually takes me now some of you will be able to do this faster some of you won't take this as an average i would recommend using the hustler weapon loadout though all right time has begun i'm 10 seconds late to start in but what's 10 seconds nothing so if we fail by 10 seconds that's why <laughs> So usually the one I pick is across the road from the depository, but for some reason I got a glitch that wouldn't let me park there. So I've had to park over here instead. The funny thing is I didn't actually park the car here. I parked it in the other spot, but this is definitely a weird glitch. Make sure you don't get out any weapons, because if you do, it will alert the guards instantly. This is the easy part, nobody to fight. Just head to the vault, go and get all the loot you can possibly get. Perfect, now I've got all the gold and you wanna get a gun ready. This is where, if you're a good GTA player, you do this pretty fast. There was a guy in the corner there for some reason, I have no idea why. There used to be a myth where if you kill them, you get less SWAT, that isn't true. So, all you have to do now, head to this location. Sometimes people spawn behind you, yep, just like this. It's a little bit annoying, but once they're gone, it's not gonna happen again. I was like to stand in this corner and poke out a little bit. Because I've done this so much, I know exactly where they are going to be. There's always a guy stood on the end over there. Now the game is telling me to go to my getaway vehicle. You don't need to. If you come around this corner, there's actually going to be a police car here. Now you can't enter police cars normally, but you can enter this one. And you're probably thinking, why would I want to get in a police car instead of my getaway vehicle? One, it's actually safer to get into this police car. And two, because we're not actually going to be driving all the way to the location. We're going to be take a little detour and go and get the police helicopter. Which if you don't know where it is, just follow exactly where I'm going right now. Right here, park it here, jump over this. You might need some snacks because the helicopter is shooting me right now. And there is the helicopter that we are about to take. Just like that, jump in the helicopter and head towards the client. 
You should lose the police on the way. But don't worry too much about trying to lose the police. But like I said at the start of the video, this is my first attempt doing this. I'm, I'm not going to try and cheat my way to get it done under six minutes. But it's, we're on the six minute mark now. So you can definitely see you can do this in under six minutes quite easily. I've done it under six minutes myself quite a few times. There is another method to do it where instead of killing all the people, you just drink some piss wasser until you faint and you'll spawn at the police station. When you wake up, you won't have any police. Uh, that is a way to do it if you feel comfortable doing it that way. Personally, I prefer doing it this way because it is faster. Let me know if there's any more contracts from the auto shop you want me to go over next. We've done it in 7 minutes 20 seconds, a little bit slow. We can definitely get this done in 6 minutes, that is for sure. Make sure to leave a like, hit that subscribe button, and I'll see you in the next video.